Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called God Has Removed the Duplicate. But before I begin, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that's happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, I also would like to do a short prayer with you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Father, I thank you for another day that you have made. Oh God, I rejoice in you. We rejoice in you, oh God. Father, you are worthy to be praised. Everything that we need is in you, Father. Lord Jesus, I continue to look to you. And so let us look to you this morning, Father God, for you are our help. You are where our help comes from, O oh God. And so, Lord, I continue, Lord Jesus, to look to you. And I pray that we all will do the same. My God, you have been showing me the plans, the work of the enemies against our children. O oh God, I pray and I cover every one of our children, O oh God. Lord Jesus, that they will be instrument for you, O oh God, that they will be vessels of honor for you, O oh God. And so, Father God, I break and I cancel every plan of the enemy over the lives of our children, O oh God. I pray, Lord Jesus, Father God, and I speak, Father God, life, Father God, in the life of every children that you have created for your purpose, O oh God. I pray, God, that your will will be done in their lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Lord God, I also pray, Father God, for those who are coming, who are ready to accept you, O oh God. I pray, Father God, that you will hasten them. I pray, Lord Jesus, your blessing and your peace be upon them as they receive you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray, Father God, for all of your children. Lord Jesus, those who are feeling discouraged, oh God. Father God, I've had so many emails, oh God. I pray that you'll remember them, oh God. I know that you love your children and you will never forget us, oh God. Lord Jesus, and I pray, I pray, Lord God, that you will bring peace and that you will bring the joy, Father God, back to these, your children, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, and I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I rejoice in you, Father. You are worthy of all praise, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. This morning, as I've said, this morning, my title is called God Has Removed the Duplicate. On the 26th of December, 21, I had a dream where I saw a person going into work. And when the person got there, there was a duplicate of the person. Someone who was trying to look at and behave as this person. And the boss came and said that someone has created a duplicate but he was going to get rid of this duplicate, says the boss. And in the dream, I knew that it, the boss 
you know, represent. It was a representation of God. So I knew that the boss was a representation of God and he was going to get rid, remove this duplicate. Then as I woke up from the dream, the Lord told me, spoke to me and he told me that there are many duplicates around the world. He said there are many duplicates around the world. He said that the devil, he says that the devil has created many duplicates, but he has removed them as of when he was speaking to me. He has removed them. Then on the 2nd of January 22, I had another dream again where I watched this person looking up at a window from outside. And the light was on in this room that the person was looking up at. And as the person looked on, there was someone looking identical to the person. It was as though you were looking at yourself. Identical, it seemed, as we looked on. As I went through the dream, in my mind, I was hearing within me, I was hearing the spirit of God speaking to me and he was saying that no one can be the same as you. Are you hearing me? No one can be the same as you. So it is in terms of acting, dressing, speaking or purchasing the same things as you. This is what it means in the dream for no one can look, you know, or be the same as you. And these people, it's not their faults. It's not their faults, but it's what the devil has done. The devil has done this for the Lord said the devil has done this. He has created many duplicates around the world. The definition of duplicates are the same as to replicate, to reproduce, identical, exactly as someone or something. Or you could say clown, which is to, you know, which is a copy of the original. So the devil has gone and done a copy of you. And the Lord is saying he has removed the duplicates. We may say it doesn't matter, but spiritually it will have a negative implication on the original person's life. So it does matter for the devil has created these people, you know, to be wanting what is yours he has created these duplicates who will be wanting what is yours and remember that i explained to you that what happened you know in the spirit it happens in the physical whatever happens in the spiritual also will happen in the physical for it takes place spiritually before it does here on earth nothing as i've explained to you on several occasions nothing can happen here on earth unless it's first happened spiritually so spiritually the devil has created these duplicates and they have materialized on this earth and so you will find people acting, behaving and wanting to be you, living as you. But God is original. God is an original God. So there can only be one of you. And that's, you know, what the, and that's what he will allow. Only one of you. So he has removed the duplicates, 
There are many duplicates of different individuals. The Lord is saying, and he has removed the duplicates. This is what the devil does. He copies everything what God does. And so, to be honest, it shouldn't be surprising for this is a devil we are speaking about. This is what he does. You know, but it's not these people's fault. You will find them around you in everyday life. But it's not their fault because it is the fault of the devil. He has done this. But God, you know, is taking care of this. God is dealing with this. And so we have nothing to be concerned about. Okay, these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord today, to turn to him before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this world and to lose your soul? Remembering that tomorrow is not promised to any of us. And if you die in your sin, that will be it. And so I want to encourage you to receive the Lord today before it's too late for you. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to return to the Lord, to seek him again before it's too late for you. Turn to the Lord again and accept him before it's too late for you. For the wages of sin is death, the word of the Lord tells us. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you also to return to the Lord, to seek him again in truth before it's too late for you. Remember that we are representatives of Christ Jesus. And so we have to live a life that is pleasing and that is acceptable unto God. That his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God because of the life that we live here on this earth. When we look, for example, at the queen or kings, you know, we cannot, they would not have anyone representing them. You know, you could not behave yourself in a certain manner. But you, you would have to come orderly and decently. And so it is for God. He expect the same. You know, or more to be more honoured than even man is honoured. And so I'm encouraging you this morning, you know, to take an example, look at the life, how, you know, people behave and are treated in the physical, how much more God. And so this morning, I'm encouraging you to turn to the Lord in truth and to receive him in the way that he desired to be seen and be treated. Okay, these are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.